Bom dia, guys. Ooh, I just did sports on the beach. Ooh, 40 years old. I think I need to do a little bit more sport. <laughs> but good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Whenever you're watching this video, wherever you are in this beautiful world, for the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. And yes, I'm 42 years old and just did sports on the beach. And now I will start to record a really cool video with amazing Bitcoin charts. Some really cool news that I read this morning early during my delicious cup of coffee. And yes, also talking about the BFAT and the BAM band indicator. And yes, also about the huge Bitcoin family. Very cool video, amazing charts. Make sure you watch the complete video. Bom dia! BAM! Let's first start with the Bitcoin TA part, the part where I bombed you a really cool charts. Today, by the way, I'm going to try to walk up to this old ruin slash castle. I don't know what it is. I hope I can walk around it and then through the forest and nature back to our house. Let's see if that is possible. But let's first take some more deep breath because, man, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still, I'm still recovering from those you know, I always do these 25 meter sprints. So sprint, walk or dribble back, sprint, walk or dribble back. I did two sessions of 10 and then I'm already tired. I used to do like five or six of these sessions on the beach with my father, you know, when I was really young. And then when I got older, I still did five of these sessions. And now after two, I'm almost broken, like bam. That is how bad my condition is, but I will keep you updated because I'm going to train every day again and again to get fitter, stronger, better and faster. Bull, bull, bull. <laughs> bull, bull, bull. Yes, make a song. I think there is a path. Like I can see now, there is a path that will, goes up. Let's see. I haven't been here before. Discovering a new area every day here in Portugal. I think this is already the thing that I want to walk to, but it's like really old and nah, can't see anything beautiful and there is no entrance because that one is closed. Let's see what is up here. I'm not talking on this part because I think still some travelers are sleeping over there. I don't want to disturb them while they're sleeping. So I'll wait till I pass all these cars and then continue the video. <laughs> Maybe then I already have breath again. I can breathe. Breathe. Really cool song by the way by the Prodigy. Now you can see it's the uh, Portugal is like different different kinds of buildings. You have these ones over there. My what I like hippie style, the blue ones, but you also have well, the opposite, like very modern, beautiful glass, of course, and a beautiful view because they all have views on the sea, which of course is amazing, but I'm just not that modern guy. I prefer like a, a house like, uh, like the blue one over there or like the pink one over there. This is more my style. But then again, I wouldn't want to own it I just would like to rent it or stay in it for a year and then move on to the next country. I just want to discover. I have something in myself that wants to discover all the world. And I just go for the goals. And then hopefully we reach the goals with a family. But maybe when they get older now, like 16 years old and all that stuff, you know, it's possible that they, that they don't want to live this life anymore. So then we need to see how we will handle that in the future. But let's take a look at some Bitcoin charts. Let's take a look at this one. This is the one hour chart, 60 minutes, this, bam. Like you can see, we're moving in this range and we are now trying to break this 37,000 US dollar level. This is not the biggest resistance. The biggest resistance is 38,000 US dollar. Ah, I can't walk, 
can't continue over here okay maybe I can walk here because there is no trespassing there is a house so maybe I should be going over here there's a path yes perfecto a oh, little bit steep but that's okay and then we will go to the main street yeah no I will walk the main street till the end and then I'll go to the, to the left because there is a sand path and that leads back to our house I think because I've been driven this street many times and then I can go to the left on top I will find something and else I have a very beautiful morning walk but let's take a look at the chart so you can see we are moving around this 37k level we want to break this level to then break the 38k level because that's the biggest resistance level when we break this 38k level we can take it all the way up to 40k and maybe even to 44k because we are moving in this huge pennant I will show you in the next chart if we don't break this level we can fall back to 36k and we can even fall back to 30k because that it could also be the result of this huge pennant but let's take a look at that chart that shows you the pennant so you do understand what I mean this chart BAM like you can see there's a four hour chart yes we are slowly zooming out in this four hour chart you can see this huge triangle the pennant this one we are moving inside of this one if you look very closely you can see we have two of them the first one we are moving inside of that one if we break out of that one there's also a bigger pennant we could move into but still a pendant is always tightening in and the end, tightening, 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 tightening in the end. And when we come towards the end, we will see a breakout. There's a four hour chart, so it can take another day. When we break out, we mostly break out the size of the width of the opening of this pendant. So it can be a huge move. It can easily be a 4K move. And if this is a 4K move, we will break out from 37 to 41K. If it is a 4K move downwards, we can easily break out from 36K to 32K or even 31K. These are all the options when we break out of this 4 hour pendant on this chart. BAM! Let's take a look at the BAM chart, the BAM BAM indicator, how much profit did we make. This chart, BAM! On this chart you can see that we traded with 200 US dollar with a leverage of 10. The first trade we took was a long. It was along with 33% profit, which made $200, 266 US dollar. The second trade was a short. It was a 30% short, which turned 266 and 340 US dollar. And the third trade is a long. That was the live trade I did during the Zoom call. I only made 11%, which turned the amount into 385 US dollar. But still, it was a good trade. If I had just used a bigger stop loss in this third trade in this third long then we would have a bigger profit we would have if I would have used a let's say a $250 stop loss we would have like a 30% profit so that would be even better but I just had a too tight stop loss so I don't whine about this because it's still 11% profit in a trade which is a huge amount of profit for just trading the DD BAM BAM signals to take a long or a short. So yes, the BAM BAM performing really well. BAM! That were already the charts for today. Let's jump into the Bitcoin news part. The part where I bomb you with the news that I read this morning during my delicious cup of coffee when I didn't know yet I would get like killed by just doing a few sprints on the beach. I like, I'm now, you can see the backland of where I always film the beach. That is the other side of the mountain. You can see a huge wide area, still with a lot of houses and villas, but also a lot of widespread fields for the cows and the bulls to play around. Portugal, it's very cloudy today. I think it will even rain later today, but we had a few really sunny days. Because it was really warm the last couple of days. We could even like sunbathe and everything. So it was really nice. But today it's like cloudy. I don't know how these clouds move. But they come in at night. And then you wake up without the sun. But with this grey deck. As if it is going to snow. Like this looks like snow clouds. Like that would be cool. Snow in Portugal. <laughs> I think it's the coldest winter ever. And of course that winter I am in Portugal. <sighs> the first news I read this morning. Of course is about Ethereum. 
because everybody is shouting now Ethereum is going to outperform Bitcoin. Again, yes, this is completely possible in the next couple of weeks, months, because Bitcoin already outperformed Ethereum hugely by breaking an all-time high and doubling from that all-time high to 40k. Ethereum is about to break this all-time high around 1400 US dollar, and then when Ethereum breaks the 1400 US dollar, it will probably double as well if it will copy Bitcoin. So we will see a bit Ethereum price of near 3000 US dollar. Litecoin. I think the same thing, Litecoin still needs to break the previous all-time high of 360 US dollar before it can double even to 600 or 700 US dollar. Lot of upwards movement possibilities for Ethereum, Litecoin and many other alts like you could see Polkadot already did a 70% run just this year. BAM! Cool thing you can see on this chart, BAM! On this chart you can see that Ethereum has now more volume in transactions than Bitcoin. It has 28% more volume than Bitcoin. You can see on this chart that in July 2020, Ethereum crossed above the Bitcoin line. And from that moment on, Ethereum showed more volume, transaction volume, than Bitcoin. And like you can see now at the moment, it is 28% more transaction volume than Bitcoin. There is a huge amount of more transactions, but that is of course because Ethereum's transactions are built out of all the thousands of projects that are built on Ethereum. Bitcoin is just one project, it's just Bitcoin on the Bitcoin blockchain. For me, it's kind of logical that Ethereum has a bigger transaction volume because there are many currencies built on Ethereum uh, creating that volume. So that is, I think, the huge difference. And that is how it's also why I think, ah, it's not the most important number. Because, you know, it's not that you, not, you can't compare apples and pears with each other, you know. It's completely different. It is thousands against one. And then, yes, it's easy to break the transaction volume. But if you look at one at one, I don't think that Ethereum has more transaction volume than Bitcoin. And to be very clear, Ethereum is approaching an all-time high when it comes to dollar value, $1,400. When it comes to the Bitcoin value in Ethereum, we are far away from the all-time high, the previous all-time high. Because Ethereum compared to Bitcoin at the all-time high, Ethereum was 0.12 Bitcoin. Now, Ethereum is only 0.036 Bitcoin. So that is like far away from the previous all-time high of 0.12 Bitcoin per Ethereum. So for me, the all-time high expressed in Ethereum, we didn't come close yet to the all-time high we had in the 2017 bull run when Ethereum was at 0.12 Bitcoin. We are now at 0.036 Bitcoin, which is far away, far away from the goal that we should be reaching in Ethereum. Bam! Another news article I read this morning was about Chainlink, guys. Chainlink... I already invested in that one a couple of months ago when I shared it in the video. I told you all guys, get into Chainlink. It was before the whole bull run in Chainlink. That was when I invested as well. I invested in the project because I believed that they would have a really good use case in the future. But also because, you know, it was just in the charts that it would need to go up. Now there is some news about Chainlink that they are getting pretty centralized. That means that the biggest amount of links are huddled by just a few wallets. And to be exactly, 125 wallets hold 80% of the complete chain link market cap. So 125 wallets hold 80% of the market cap of link. This is pretty centralized because 125 wallets controlling 80% of the volume, that means that all the wills are holding the links, all the wills are holding chain link, and they can, you know, manipulate the market tremendously because it's not completely decentralized anymore. It is as different in Ethereum and in Bitcoin. In Bitcoin, there is not 100 wallets holding 80% of the volume. In Ethereum, the same. It's not 100 wallets holding 80% of the volume, which makes it more decentralized. So that is why, yes, I like the project. I like what they are building. But I believe Chainlink needs to decentralize more. So yes, those wills need to start sharing their linkies with all the other people in the industry because else it might become too centralized, in my opinion. But who am I? I'm just a weirdo sporting on the beach with a Bitcoin movement hat walking in nature 
in Portugal. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just a dude living the Bitcoin life all over the world. Bam! Some very bad news for the industry, in my opinion. Again, who am I? <laughs> but in my opinion, you're watching these videos probably because you like what I have to say. But in my opinion, this is really bad news. Bitstamp, they just announced that everybody that wants to withdraw their Bitcoins from the Bitstamp exchange needs to do a KYC and the proof that they are the owner of this Bitcoin wallet. And you need to do a photographic proof that you are the owner of a wallet. Who the fuck is going to do that? I can't believe that there is any person in crypto that is going to tell an exchange, ah, this is the paper with my Bitcoin wallet or the private key of my hardware wallet or whatever photographic proof they want to show that you are the owner of this wallet and that they are allowed to send you the Bitcoins to that wallet. Of course, it all has to do with AML, like anti-money laundering um, thing and all that stuff. Wait, I need to bend. But then, but still guys, that is not my thing. That is not the reason why I stepped into crypto. It is not to give away all my privacy to again a centralized organization, because then I could also have to just state a whole fiat industry and just not own cryptocurrency if I want to show everybody what I do with my money. That is why I use cash when it comes to fiat. Nobody knows what I do with my cash. But when the world goes digital and the world goes cashless, I want an alternative for the cash that I'm using nowadays. And that alternative for that cash is a currency, a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, that protects the privacy, that not shows everybody what I am doing with this new peer-to-peer -peer cash in the future. So really bad news for the Netherlands and really bad news for all the Dutch customers of Bitstamp. I would leave this exchange immediately. I would withdraw all my funds just to show the power of the people. We are the community, we are the Bitcoin hodlers, and we stop using exchanges when they suppress us to using KYC on an exchange to prove that you are the owner of a wallet. I would say, fuck them, leave that exchange, and go to another one that doesn't have KYC, or a beautiful decentralized one like Uniswap, whatever, where you don't need to show your passport, where you don't need to show your proof that you're the owner of a wallet, and all that stuff. Really terrible news for Bitstamp and for the Dutch Bitcoin community. Bam! And there is one more news, guys, that I want to talk to you about. I just discovered this new website. Uh, I still need to dig into the website, but I really liked what they were doing. The website is called shopping.io. And on this website, you can use cryptocurrency to spend on Amazon eBay Walmart I think I saw even saw that they are also going to add Aliexpress um, I always explore all these possibilities I just explore these possibilities because I just want to know um, how this works and we left completely in crypto so I want to spend crypto I don't want to hold all my crypto I also want to support the whole industry by spending crypto crypto by creating transactions I don't know if they give crypto cash back and all that stuff I still need to discover this but the thing that I can spend my bitcoins on Amazon is already huge so I just found out about them I still need to dig, dig deeper into them but just to give you a heads up that there is a possibility of spending crypto on Amazon nowadays so let's see how this works I will make a tutorial on this as well I think because I like to educate people in how to use all these possibilities that there already are in crypto to spend crypto all over the world to make a life completely on cryptocurrency possible because i get so many questions of people ah didi it's not possible that you don't own bank accounts you cannot live only in cryptocurrency yes we can yes it is not as easy as living on normal fiat and yes you need to be creative now and then but it's completely possible i see it as living in the future we already live in that future without a bank account solely living on cryptocurrency it is completely possible bam just realized i completely forgot to talk about the family and to the huge bitcoin family yes the huge bitcoin family on the discord server the bitcoin family on the discord server we are more than 2000 members at the moment the family is growing day by day we're talking about bitcoin blockchain and life every day it's becoming a very very tight no, not tight a very close community where everybody really shares um, their opinion but also you know talks about everything in life so make sure you sign up to this 
Discord server, become huge, part of this huge Bitcoin family, or even buy some family tokens so, so you get some advantages of a family token holder. You can also provide liquidity and then you can earn family tokens, which is a lot of family tokens because at the end of this month, I will again be paying 40,000 family tokens. Our own family, the family of five, everything going fine. I think we will stay some longer in Portugal before we know what everything is going to happen here all over the world with this flu situation. And we would love to have some more sun, maybe fly to Mexico, whatever. But you know, the regulations in flying and all the testing we need to do, we are just not like these pro testing people we don't want to be tested we don't want to do a pcr test we don't want to do all of these tests so we might stay a little bit longer in portugal to discover this beautiful country some more and more we will start to travel some more in portugal to other areas to show you also the other places instead of only the algarve but i will keep you on to up to date about this i finally did get time to wash the beautiful bitcoin machina check oh. Now you can see the beautiful colors again, and you can see the sponsor again, Prime XBT, Machina Trader, House of Dow, Blockchain Valley, all in the house of Dow. <laughs> Look, finally you can see some beautiful bright colors again. This is how the car should look every day. I will tell the kids, <laughs> and they will hate me for that. And of course the most important one is on the hood. Bitcoin family and do you understand why I use these ones? Fuck. Nobody commented about these ones yet, but there's just a small touch of bulls That's the bullish part of the car. That was everything for today guys I hope you really enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up Share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. Always remember, wait, I need to watch out, to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in that life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. And also that is exactly what the Bitcoin movement is about. Enjoying life to the fullest every single day. Thanks for watching today's video and hopefully see you again tomorrow morning again at 6 o'clock. Do you like this new rhythm? Six o'clock, cup of coffee, Diddy, bam time, bam.